straight towards us and just looking eyeball to eyeball. It was such a handsome beast, it was like, you know, it's, um, it's quite a moment actually, because I've probably never been that close to a stag before. And we're just looking at each other for about 30 seconds. And that decision had to be made, yes, we had to take it out. So uh, quite, quite emotional actually, I don't know why. But anyway, it's a beautiful looking animal. And I see the, it's a very quiet stalk, I suppose, really, all the way through. It always just, it's just very serene. The ball were running around us. And uh, there, there he was, just roaring away. It was a roar which pulled us towards him. And he was roaring, there's one over there. And we just straight, straight towards it. And it was just, uh, yeah. It's just kind of one of those moments actually when you're hunting. Mixture of sadness, mixture of delight. I don't know how to put it across in some ways, but uh, you know, it's uh, what a beautiful beast. You know, there we are in the middle of France, two hours south of Paris. And we have got the most beautiful looking um, stags I've seen for a long, long time actually. You know, the proper woodland stag, very healthy, you know, and uh, look at them. Uh, an interesting, an interesting morning stalk, perhaps. Anyway, so uh, I see a mixture of elation, sadness, but uh, this one needed taking out. So that's what we've we've done, and uh, it's a real honour and privilege to be able to do that. The bullet's gone straight in the in the front of the chest, taking the heart and the lungs, and it, and the bullet did its job. 